Hey guys, welcome to the Sino Hub. Today we will discuss one of the important topic uh, in our machine learning, uh, which is part of Unit Four. The topic name is genetic algorithms. <clears throat> so coming to the genetic algorithms, okay. First we will uh, briefly discuss about the overview of genetic algorithm. See here, genetic algorithm is a learning method motivated by analogy to biological evaluation. Next, genetic algorithm search. This hypothesis based by generating successor hypothesis, which repeatedly mutate and recombine parts of the best currently known hypothesis. Next, this uh, genetic algorithms, which are part of genetic programming, the entire complete programs are evaluated to certain fitness criteria. Okay, so here, so anyhow, uh, we are going to designing some sort of network. Those here we can call it as a neural network, which are contains a part of neurons. Like our human body, in that we here we can call it as a genetics. So we are going here. We are going to mapping that human brain to the machine. So for that hypothesis, hypothesis space, hypothesis space, and hypothesis, these two are going to playing very much important role, which are part of our genetic algorithms. Okay. So uh, so here uh, generally what uh, contains in that uh, genetic algorithm? See here. So first we will have the initialize the population, okay. So generate the small p hypothesis at random. Next coming to the evaluate. So in that we will do for each population we have to compute the fitness function, okay. While max suffix of small h fitness of h tends to the threshold to threshold. So at that particular moment what we need to do. So first we need to do the selection process. Next, we need to do the crossover process. Next, we need to do the mutate process. Next, we need to do the update process. And last, we need to do the evaluation process. Okay. So, in this genetic algorithm, after initializing the population, we have to do all these five functionalities. Okay. First one is selection. Second one is the crossover. Third one is the mutate. And fourth one is the update. And last one is the evaluate. And finally, return the hypothesis from capital P that has the highest fitness function. Okay. So we have to give the highest fitness function based on all of this performing the task. Next, representation of the hypothesis. So here hypothesis are going to play very much important role while we are going to performing that genetic algorithm. See here. In genetic algorithms, hypotheses are often represented by bit string. Here we are going to representing that hypothesis in bit string so that they can be easily manipulated by genetic operators such as mutation and crossover. Okay. So we have so many number of operators in genetic algorithm in that these two are the major operators. Now coming to that example, outlook equal to overcast versus rain and wind equal to strong that we are going to representing in the form of 0 1 1 and 1 0 if wind is equal to strong then play tennis yes okay so now this one we are going to representing 1 1 1 and 1 0 and 1 0 so and we are going to make some sort of group see here where group 1 that belongs to three valued outputs and group 2 belongs to the two valued wind and group 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 3 belongs to the two valued play tennis. So like that we are going to represent that complete data in our genetic algorithms in the form of hypothesis. Okay. And coming to that we have genetic operators. Okay. So first we may have the crossover techniques. Second one we will have the mutation techniques and third one we have some other type of operators. So coming to that crossover technique that is nothing but crossover operators. So in that we may have the different types of the crossover techniques. First one single point crossover, next two point crossover, next uniform crossover. So within this three different kind of crossover mechanisms we will perform. Next coming to the mutation techniques we will have the point mutation and other types of operators are specialization operators and generalization operators. So these are all part of the genetic operators by taking the help of all of these operators we will represent the hypothesis. We will represent the hypothesis. And here, these five are the, the major functionalities for the genetic algorithms, which are selection, crossover, mutate, update, and evaluate. Okay, this is the thing behind the genetic algorithms.
I hope you guys understood this video very well. We will meet once again in the next video. Thank you.